Hi, I'm Ashley Weston. I'm a celebrity menswear stylist. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. To see the other articles and videos in this series, check out this link below. All right, so I wanna to talk to you guys about socks. If you've read my 10 Style Mistakes ebook, then you know I have some pretty strong opinions about socks. Most of my clients come to me with their drawers filled with a bunch of white regular socks, maybe a couple ankle socks thrown in there, and two or three pairs of ratty, and I mean ratty, pairs of dress socks. On top of this just being unacceptable, it's just frankly gross. Socks are one of the few areas in menswear where it's perfectly acceptable to go absolutely crazy with them. They're a great opportunity for you to show off your personality and they're really great conversation starters. So the goal here is just to have fun with them. So there's one rule to follow with your socks and that is to never own a pair of white ones ever. They're the cancer of the sock world. If you disagree with me, then I'm sorry to say, but wrong, 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 you're wrong, you're wrong, you're wrong. So let me show you the three different types of socks that you should own. First up are dress socks. So think of these as the replacement to your white socks. Like I said before, go absolutely crazy with them, but do have some black, gray, and navy ones in your sock drawer, just in case you have an event that calls for you to be a little bit more conservative. As for material, they come in wool, cotton, or silk blends. I would recommend going with a cotton blend. That's what I use on my clients because then you can use that one type of sock for all of your outfits. So that includes your casual outfits like with jeans and sneakers and with your suits and dress shoes. Just be careful not to get a thicker wool sock because then that only looks good and should only be worn with casual outfits. On the flip side of that, don't get something that's on the thinner, silkier side because then you can only wear that with dress shoes and suits. As for how many dress socks you should own, well, that's really up to you. But if you do go with the cotton blend socks that I was just talking about, then that's your everyday socks. So just get enough to cover you till laundry day. If you wanna match your dress socks with your outfit, then the best thing to do is to take a color in your sock and match it to a similar shade of an item in your outfit. So whether that be your shoes, your jacket, your accessories like your tie, that's how you do it if you really wanna be a stickler about matching your socks to your outfit. Now. I will have to say, this is the one time, the one area where you really don't worry about matching. Go bananas, show off your personality, have some fun in a weird way. Having some bright, crazy sock with your outfit might even make it look even better. Next up are black ankle socks. So these are for working out only. I'm serious guys, only working out. They have a little lip at the top, so you don't want anything super wide, just that little lip. Some companies refer to them as low or short stocks. Socks, <laughs> not stocks. And the last type of sock you should own are black no-show socks. So you'll wear these with loafers or boat shoes, and if you're wearing shorts or if you're cuffing your pants, regardless of what shoes you're wearing. So remember, you cuff your pants, you gotta wear no-show socks. Now, as for color, I recommend going with black because white and nude, nude especially, nude looks just weird, and white is gonna get gross and dirty very quickly, so go with black. So I get asked this pretty regularly, and that's when should you replace your socks? So I would say when they're thin in the heel or toes, if they're faded or stretched out, then definitely replace them. And if they're severely pilled, which are those, you know, those little balls that your socks get when it's like a lot of friction in a certain area, if there's a lot of pilling, then that means that they're starting to get worn out and just start to toss them and replace them with some fresh new socks. So let's get into the best socks that you should own. For dress socks, whether they be solid or pattern, I love these ones by Darn Tough. They're super soft and comfortable, and they're one of the most durable socks that I've ever encountered. Another great thing about these guys is that they offer a lifetime guarantee. So if you manage to wear through these ones, then they will replace them free of charge 
no questions asked. Now the price definitely reflects that, but it's not too offensive compared to other brands that offer no lifetime guarantee. So they offer these socks in a micro crew and a crew version Definitely go with the crew version because the micro crew is way too short. You will be flashing some leg skin when you're sitting down with the micro crew. Don't do it. If you're looking for a more budget-friendly option, then I really love Gold Toe. You can pretty much find them everywhere. I'm partial to the Cotton Blend socks, which I have here. It's their signature gold. I really like them because they're not too thick or too thin. Now, the price for what you're getting is great, but just be prepared to replace them about once or twice a year if you wear them regularly. For ankle socks, again, I really love the ones by Darn Tough. Like your dress socks, I prefer the cushion versions over the regular regular ones. And I mean, they have a lifetime warranty. What's there not to like about it? If you're looking for a budget friendly option, I really like the ones by Uniqlo. They actually call their ankle socks short socks. They have a bunch of crazy patterns and colors, but again, I don't really see the point of that. Stick with their black ones. For more information, just check out my article. And lastly, for your no-show socks, I honestly say just go with the cheapest ones out there. They're all very similar. Uniqlo, H&M, Top Man, Target, they all make great ones. Most stores carry them. Um, some companies sell cotton blends and others sell more thin nylon no-show socks. So I've had clients that prefer one type over another, but some like to have both. So this one's entirely up to you in terms of which material you wanna go with. I just say, try both and see what you prefer. So those are the socks that I love using on my clients and that I'm recommending to you. This video is part of my men's essential accessory series. Check out my website for a more in-depth article that includes all the product links as well as honorable mentions that I did not go over in this video. Subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And if you like this video, remember, give it a thumbs up. All right guys, so how do we normally sign off on a video? No, no, silly. We don't say that in this video. Come on. No. Think about it. Mm, is it, we'll see you there in the next one? Exactly. So let's still do this at the same time. All right, gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Now give each other a kiss. Mwah.